animation. We're finally talking about animation and it's a pretty exciting topic. You all probably know how motion on a screen is created by switching rapidly many different images. And that's the case when you're animating an Android. So here's an example flipbook I've just created with a character running away from a very heavy cartoon type weight. So what we would do in Android is draw these images and in the same way as in the flipbook we would then moments later substitute it with a slightly different image and again we'd keep doing that until we had enough images to create the illusion of motion flipping through this booklet. But what's this image, this uh, area that we're drawing images to? Well we've already interacted with it so there's no need to panic. If you remember we're using a layout XML file to define where we want our buttons and images and grid views and what Android does is it looks at the layout XML and it draws these simple objects to the same screen that we're going to be drawing to later. But when we're doing our own animation for Android, we're no longer going to need this layout XML file. We're going to look at two methods of drawing with Android in the following tutorials. Now the first method is using view, drawing to view, and that's a slow method. And you'd use that if you were drawing your own buttons or you were creating a slow game like chess. But if you wanted to create a fast game, maybe a racing game or a flying game or a running game, you use the second method of drawing using a canvas. And that's for fast games, as I've said. So the key points are drawing many different images using two different methods and not using the layout XML file. In the previous tutorial, I asked you to create an animation activity 001 class. And if you've been following the series, you've probably also created the accompanying layout file activity animation 001 XML. We won't need that for animation. So let's open up our animation activity and scroll down to the set content view. Now we, we could delete this and uh, actually I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete the whole thing and we're going to go into our layouts and delete our layout XML for the animation activity class. And that is all I want to do in this tutorial. We're going to start looking at the first drawing method in the next one. Thanks for watching.